The sharks always love a business. They can grow and expand. We're an after-party cleaning company that specialise in taking the headache out of hosting a party. But it's got to have a market for one to take a bite. So we've done $25,000 in turnover yep. and we've just done 100 cleans. Such a small business. We needed to be doing at least 1,000 cleans a week. You know, you might have to clean up vomit. Oh, Andrew! This is a toenail of a business. I'm out. I'm looking for businesses that I can scale up. You know, real businesses that are about commerce and create commerce for our communities. Oil pulling seeps all around your teeth into your gum and sucks out all of those microorganisms. But you've got to keep it in your mouth for 20 minutes. Kids doing this, for God's sake, you can't make kids eat peas. Mate, we're way off the planet on where you need to be thinking about this business. I'm out. If they can scale up to a national business, or even better, international business, then I'll be really excited. We founded a world first contemporary meditation studio. You can close your eyes whenever you're ready. And when you wake up, you'll cluck like a chicken. I'm falling asleep thinking about wanting to get into this investment. I'm not a believer in this. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. So, will this Melbourne couple be able to get the sharks to see that their business is ready to be a household name? You a little bit around there. You go, thank you. You need some help. <laughs> we are so excited to be going to the Shark Tank today because it's the opportunity of a lifetime. Be great. Thank you. For us to get investment, it would mean the world. It would mean taking something that we are so passionate about around Australia and to other people. Hi Sharks, my name's Andy. And I'm Jasmine. And we're the creators of The Pole Room. Today, we're asking for $100,000 for a 15% share of equity in our company. The Pole Room is a manifestation of our belief that exercise should always be fun. So we've developed a pole dancing for fitness program that can take anybody of any age, of any past experience. Sharks, with your investment of $100,000, we plan to take our pole dancing for fitness program online and franchise our operations across Australia. The poll room is ready to put the health and fitness industry into a spin. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, very nice. Wow, that core strength. Great core strength. That's impressive. Very good. <laughs> so that was Andy and Jasmine. Correct. And you're looking 15% for $100,000. So you're valuing it around 660. Is that right? That's correct. Correct. Yeah. Who wants to give it a go? <clears throat> I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping with the right foot, what you're going to do is you're going to come around, you're going to bring your knees together, and you're going to spin around. Yeah! Wow! Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, I'm not quite dressed for it. <laughs> well done. Well done. That deserves a $5 note. So where did you start, how did you start the business and how did you fund it? We actually started with a very small amount. I quit my job when I was 23. I was in retail and doing PT and I'd finally had enough and I decided to open a pole studio with $2,000. And I was very lucky to be gifted by an old student of mine, uh, $10,000, who believed very much in me. Wow. It's quite emotional thinking about it. Um, she, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> She's really unwell. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It's OK. She's... Take your time. <sighs> they say that all we need is one person to believe yeah. in us. It was everything. You're absolutely right. It was the difference between me going back into retail and me finding a small space. And I set up eight poles and I taught pretty much every class. <laughs> and within a, a few months, six months, Andy had quit his job and we moved into a 400 metre square factory. That's a fantastic piece of generosity. But uh, what's the earning capacity of investment into a pole dancing studio? So in 2015-16, our total revenue was 450,000. And so after everyone gets paid, yeah. and all the bills get paid, what's the bottom line? Yeah, so we profited $100,000. Very well done. I mean, nothing to be sneezed at there. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Jasmine, you've got $100,000 investment. Tell me about three years. What can I expect as an investor? In our three-year goal is to have 30 studios around Australia. At the moment, there are no national brands that are nationwide. There are only studios statewide. We would like to be the first. What is, uh, what is your franchise model? It's the owner-operator model. 
So we want our franchisees to come in and actually, you know, be at the front desk, you know, welcoming the students. You know, we want to build community in these studios. One of the major issues with, you know, whether it's yoga or Pilates or pole dancing is getting great talent. Yes. And you can't just replace it. Oh, hang on, they've left. Can you do it? Mm. <laughs> so how do you deal with that issue? Our staff are our business and we try to look after them as best as possible, but a lot of them come through the studio. We develop them ourselves. And so what's it cost to set up a studio, so to speak? We've calculated to be around 163000 To open one studio? To open a studio, correct. It's a lot of pole. Poles are quite expensive. Um, I'd like to at least think that I could participate in the businesses that I, get, uh, that I invest in. <laughs> Can't see yourself on a pole? <laughs> Can't quite see myself on a pole. All the best. I'm out. Thank you. Andy and Jasmine, I can tell you where I'm at. You know, it's interesting, but it's not exciting and scalable for me. Uh, I wish you well, but I'm not the right partner for you. But I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. It's in the wellness and health space, and you're putting a fun factor to it. What don't I like? It's a very early stage business. For that reason, I'm out. Totally fair. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. So three sharks are out, we've got two left. Jasmine and Andy, congratulations. Thank you. The thing that I do know about the fitness pace is it's a very cluttered market. Correct. And for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. Thanks. You are very impressive. And there's, there's a few things that sort of cross my mind, because in actual fact, I go, oh, I'd like to do a deal with you, because I think we could work really well together. Um, there's a couple of things that I've got to sort of get some clarity around. The first one is getting um, a franchisee, you've got a small pool. And the reason you've got a small pool is you need someone, one passionate about pole dancing, and to make money, they need to work in it. Yes. The second one is I have never seen uh, an industry so quickly growing of Pilates and, and yoga. And the reason that's an issue for you is because it's a land grab. Yes. And trying to find those great studios is really difficult at the moment. <sighs> Do you know, we have a retention rate of 80%. It's pretty good. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, really? Really. There's no industry that has an 80% <laughs> retention rate in the exercise. None. That's why this is so great. Wow. Oh, come on, Janine, they're in Melbourne. <laughs> you look so good on the pole. Jasmine and her partner, Andy, have just pitched their idea to franchise their Melbourne-based pole dancing studio across the country. Do you know, we have a retention rate of 80%. Pretty good. Very well done. I mean, nothing to be sneezed at there. There's no industry that has an 80% retention rate in the exercise. None. That's why this is so great. Wow. But despite impressing the sharks, Janine is the only one left who looks like she might do a deal. Oh, look, you know what my problem is? I know too much. I know too much about franchising. I know how hard it is. I think one of the things with our program that makes it sort of unique and would give us the opportunity to bring franchisees into the business is because once you complete a level, you can then go and teach it potentially. Yeah, but a good, a good pole dancer doesn't make a good business person. Or a good course, pole yeah. dancer doesn't make a good yeah. franchisee. So you've got to kind of get the combination. That's why the, the pool gets smaller and smaller and smaller. I'm sorry, I'm out. No problem. Ooh. I'll um, give you my email address oh. and come in and um, I'll talk about how you can actually franchise this well. You're wonderful. Thank you. My pleasure. We used to live in Ringwood East, and I, when I was reading your book, I was like, Janine used to live here. That's right, I did. <laughs> There's magic <laughs> in the water. <laughs> <laughs> there Thank is. You. There is. All the best to you. Thank you so well much. Well done. Well done, ladies. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs> How great was it that someone <laughs> believed in her? I know. That someone believed in her, she got the $10,000, and that woman didn't do it for the money. No, she, she did it because she was backing a winner. No, I just right. thought that was beautiful. I think the best advice I could give somebody who's interested in walking into the tank is be yourself. 
be passionate, be considered, but also bring me into your world. I want to see what you see. And if you can do that quickly and effectively, I will be listening with big ears.